What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come by real quick today and give you an update on the um, Talia Wajid Green Apple and Aloe uh, Nutrition Hold Me Down Gel A. I used this product along with its leave-in maybe a little over a week ago and gave a first impression on it. And I believe in that video, I did say that I liked the product. I did say that it had somewhat of a hold, but a softer hold. And I was gonna come back and give you uh, my thoughts after three or four days. I wasn't able to come back then because um, I had to do another video. And But I did list in the description box of that particular video that um, it lasted about three days. But on that third day, I felt like the moisture was leaving my hair. I didn't have as much moisture in it. So I went on and washed it um, and uh, used something else and made a different video. Anyway, I wanted to come back today to let you know how I feel about it today. Now, I did do a wash and go with it again today, and underneath it, I used the Miel Organics Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk. I believe this particular hair milk is a little bit more moisturizing than the leave-in that comes with this line. So I decided to use this under the gelée, and I like the results. These are the results. It's very soft. It feels very moisturized. It still has somewhat of a hold. Um, it's not super shiny, but um, it does look healthy, and it is defined, and it's fluffy. So I really like the look. I didn't fluff it out a whole lot today because I'm not really going anywhere, so I'm just going to kind of leave it as is today and then worry about fluffing it tomorrow and the next day. Um, hopefully, I'll, it'll last me four or five days, which would be great. So... All in all, I want to say that I like this product. I think that it um, gives you a nice wash and go that is touchable, um, that doesn't flake, at least for me it didn't flake, um, that gives you the volume that you want on the first day, if that's what you like. The only downside to this, in my opinion, is that it's $10.99, it's 12 ounces, and I only got two uses out of it. This, it's completely gone. I scraped the bottle. I'm sorry if you could see here and there, but I scraped the bottle. Normally for eight ounce or 12 ounce jar, I can get three or four uses. I got two with this. I felt like I had to keep putting it on my hair because it just felt like not every strand was getting coated. I know that sometimes when it feels that way, you can add more water and that can make the difference. I tried that, it didn't seem like it made the difference, so I felt like I had to keep adding more um, to make it feel like every strand was coated. So I could have been a little heavy handed with this. Um, so if I buy it again, I will try to use less and see what kind of results I get with that, but I'm on the fence. I just don't know if this will be um, something that I will gravitate to. Not because it's not good and I don't like it, but just because of how many uses I get for the price. Um, now I know that I can get more uses out of the Obia Naturals um, curling custard that I also um, reviewed on my channel. It does cost more. I think it's more like $14.99 or $15.99, but I can get um, at least four, maybe four and a half uses out of that. So it just it just depends. If I can't find the one, I might pick this up because I do like the feel of it. I do like the fluff of it. So far, it did not flake with its own leave-in. It did not flake with the avocado hair milk. I might try it. I might just buy it again to try it with the Camille Rose Naturals hair milk to see how that works out. But um, don't quote me on it. Um, if I do do that, I'll come back and let you know. But for those of you who are just wondering, who have never tried this line, I suggest you pick it up. It may work. Try it with your favorite leave-in. Whatever leave-in you like that moisturize your hair, try mixing it together on your hand with the gel. See if it um, smooths in nice and um, clear. Um, and if it does, use it together and see what you like about it. Um, if it curdles up, you may want to try something else, but I just feel like the leave-in that comes with it is not quite as moisturizing as I need it to be for um, my hair. So hopefully this answers any questions that you guys had about the Apple and Aloe line of the uh, 
to Leah with G-Line. And if you have any other questions that I didn't answer or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to try to answer those questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you will get notified of all my uh, upcoming uploads. And if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.